Camp Bailout took place for the fifth straight year in Ashland. The camp allows teenage girls from the area between 12 and 19 to explore what it's like to work in the fire and emergency medical service professions. People say that it takes uh, five years for a good business to uh, work and this is our fifth year and we've doubled the amount of girls that we have, so it's, it's pretty exciting. Uh, this year we were invited into Massport, to Logan Airport, uh, to the facility in there, the uh, fire station by the assistant chief, Donnie Collins. Uh, so we took our first road trip. We, uh, I had a, a school bus come by yesterday and picked uh, 35 of us up and off we went into uh, Massport. We had an unbelievable time. They, uh, they treated us uh, unbelievable. It was, it was an unbelievable experience. It was a great experience. Uh, an opportunity that uh, hopefully these, these girls will remember for the rest of their lives. Uh, we got to see their facility, the, the type of equipment that they use, which is slightly different than what we use here in the regular stations. Uh, their engines are slightly different. They're, they, most like most, they have foam mostly on them uh, f because they have to deal with more flammable liquids with the planes. Uh, they're called crash trucks. Uh, and then we had an opportunity to uh, go on their new uh, fireboat. So they took us for a trip around the harbor, I guess you could say, uh, and we had an unbelievable time. The girls, uh, not only the girls, the, the instructors too. It was an experience that we'll never forget. Um, so that was one of the things that new, new items to uh, the camp this year. Uh, I can't imagine we'll be doing it every year because it was quite uh, an endeavor, both on, on our part here, but also mostly for uh, Massport and for Assistant Chief uh, Donnie Collins, uh, for the, the effort that he had to put in and, and uh, uh, the contacts that he had to make and for his staff to accommodate 35 people was, uh, was awesome, but I, I wouldn't ask him to do it every year, that's for sure. Today they were propelling from uh, the top window here of this structure. Uh, they seem to enjoy it, seem to be a little nervous, but they seem to get over it and do a nice job with this. Yeah, the rappelling, we usually do it on Thursdays, the fourth day of the camp, and at that point, the girls are, have gotten to know one another. Uh, so it's a, big, it's a big confidence builder. Usually at the beginning when we go through the, the briefing, uh, the instructors talk to them, and there's usually about a half a dozen girls that are a little nervous, tentative about it. Uh, by the end of the day, they want to go off, if you take a look, they want to go off the top of, of the, uh, the tower. So their confidence builds as the day goes on, uh, mostly due to the, the experience of the instructors, but also the peer support that they get from the girls is fantastic. The encouragement, they see if they can do it, I can do it, kind of a mentality, and that's, that's a big component of the camp. Is, is the, the girls supporting one another and also the instructors encouraging the girls to do things that they wouldn't maybe try themselves. So it's, it's a, it, on the fourth day, you really see the difference in the girls and their confidence level. So it's, it's pretty exciting for me and my staff to see it. It's always a big hit, the repelling day. Tomorrow is the final day of Camp Bailo. Yeah. Can you talk about some of the uh, activities that will happen tomorrow? Sure, tomorrow is, uh, we're gonna touch on some of the things that we didn't get to. The, the day trip kind of took a, a whole day of training uh, off the books that we normally do. So tomorrow's going to be the fill-in day. We're going we're gonna to do some uh, tower operations, some ladder operations, uh, some company evolution operations, maybe a little bit more team building exercises. And uh, I'll challenge them, maybe I'll bring out the tower truck and see if I can get some of the ladies to climb it see how their confidence is uh, at that. And then we end, we end off the day with our graduation where the parents get to come in. We put a video together. Uh, I take pictures every day and myself and uh, Mike Terosian put together uh, a, a great DVD for the parents to see what the girls, exactly what the girls have been doing every day. I'm sure they listen to it every, every night when they go home, but they'll actually get to see uh, physically what these girls have been doing for the past five days and it's 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 a lot of fun it's a lot of fun